Do you copy? Over. This is Discovery. We copy, Control. How are the cargo bay activities going? Cargo bay operations proceeding on schedule, Control. Becky's about to take her first walk in space. Hey, here comes Don. You're just in time, Don. Becky is about to go hitchhiking in space. Bye, Becky. Don't get lost. Don't worry, I won't. Be back soon, everybody. Sorry to leave you with all this work. We'll save some for you. Thanks. I still can't get over how beautiful it is up here. Anybody want to see me do a somersault? Show off. I'm not showing off. I'm just testing the equipment. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're just envious, Gary. Me? Envious? Get on there, you. There we go. Wait a minute. I just saw a blue light flash. Where, Becky? I didn't see it. Mid-fuselage, near the elbow of the remote arm. I saw a blue light. It flashed, like the flash on a camera. It's not there now. Discovery, this is Control. Gear down. Over. Roger. Gear down and locked. All systems A-OK. -okay. Everything looks fine from here, Discovery. It was a good mission, but it's nice to be home, Control. You didn't watch it? I told you. I should have seen it. It's like too weird for words, you know. It's, it's like, what are they going to do with these things? They are everywhere. It's like real 50s paranoia. I love it. It's a classic. I stay up and watch it every time it's on. I don't believe you missed it. And what time do you go to bed? Eight o'clock? Latu Barada Nikto. Don't make me wonder what planet you're from. Only well, my mother knows for sure. Which one was giving him the problem? Uh, camera number two. What's wrong with it? Well, it failed up there for a few minutes. Then when it came back on, it wouldn't respond to controls. Could be a glitch in a control panel. Hard to check that. I'm not as dumb as I look. What was the exact nature of the malfunction? Uh, the lens kept going in and out of focus. The camera was tilting and panning all over the place. They couldn't get it under control. Finally, they just shut it off. Maybe it's on drugs. Maybe you're on drugs. I'm going to uh, ship it over to electronics. You fill out the form and make sure it gets there, OK? Roger. Tyson, ID 6 478. I am declaring a code F, as in Frank, emergency. I need. We need. Help. Dr. Heilman will be here shortly. He wants us to hold off on any testing until he gets here. The preliminary scan doesn't show anything. It's a TV camera, that's all. Yeah, doesn't that make you feel a little foolish? Wait until Heilman gets here and finds out we're holding a TV camera captive inside the isolation tank. Oh, the excitement should be too much for him. Yes, yes, please do. 
Thanks. Still no sign of crew chief Simmons. Why don't you go in there if you don't believe me? Go in there and pick it up. Nobody said they didn't believe you, Gerald. And why is everybody looking at me like I got fungus growing out of my head? Look, there is no way you're going to find Brady Simmons. He is gone. Whatever's inside that camera did something to him. Disintegrated him. Hey, go in there, go, go in there, go on. I, I'd, I'd like to see somebody go in there besides that stupid robot. Hey, look, it. Now, whatever's going on here, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Right, Dr. Lockridge? get in there. There's no way he could have gotten in there. So, uh, what's the story, Doc? Will you at least tell me where I am? It says he's a man. I mean, for God's sakes, look at him. He's obviously a man. What is this place, anyway? Where's the TV camera? I assume there's Chief. some reason we're not letting him out. What is Chief Simmons doing in the tank? We didn't put him in there. Peter, fill Vaughn in on what's happened. Teresa, roll back the tape on camera one. How far? Uh, four meters. Right. Five yeah. meters, but keep the other cameras rolling. Annie, yeah. talk to uh, Mr. Simmons. All right, what do I say? Uh, tell him to sit down, take it easy, tell him we'll be with him in a minute. Okay. Mr. Simmons! You've had quite a shock, Mr. Simmons. If you'll just make yourself comfortable, we'll be with you in a few moments. We have no explanation at this time for how he even got in there. Damn, did you see that? Did you see it? Vaughn! Vaughn, get over here, hurry! Rewind, Teresa. Not, not too far, just to where it starts to happen. I'm telling you guys, I'm okay! Well, actually, I'm starting to get a little stir-crazy, but besides that, I'm fine. Now, will you please let me out of here? There. There, there. Did you see it? Am I crazy? Must be some sort of trick. Yeah, some trick. Uh, it's a trick we don't know yet. Let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Vaughn, it's right there. It's right there on tape. What? What is there? Tell me. I don't know. I don't know what. A uh, 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 mutant. Uh, a chameleon. Something. Who are you? Identify yourself. What do you mean, who am I? Anybody can tell you that? I'm Brady Simmons, ID number 4-37. Who are you? This is Dr. Heilman, Brady. I'm afraid I can't let you out of there just yet. Not until you tell me how you got in there in the first place. I don't know how I got in here! All I know is I gotta get out! Why? Why do you have to get out? Hell of a magician. Who is she? Brady Simmons' wife. Please, let him out. He's okay, really. He just wants to come home. Please. 
for me? There is nothing wrong with him. He's, he's fine, honest. It's an illusion of some sort. Peter, get on the phone. Call the Brady Simmons home, see if his wife's there. Peter. If she's not an illusion, do you know what it is we're talking about here? We're talking about something that can change its organic structure almost well, instantaneously, at will. Well, Kurt, I warn you not to jump to conclusions. We haven't established an ETI here. Mrs. Simmons? I got Miss Simmons on the line. She's at home. Now, do you believe me? What's Brady Simmons' wife's first name? Kate. Kate? Yes. Kate. All you're asking us is to take Brady, your husband Brady, out of the tank, right? Oh, yes. Oh, would you please? Where's Brady, Kate? Where is he? He's... He's... I don't see him, Kate. Where is Brady, huh? Show me where he is. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Shut up, Gerald. Kate, where's your husband? I don't know. He's not in there, is he, Kate? Gotcha, sucker. Ah. All right, come on, guys. Enough's enough. Let me out. It's remarkable. Whatever it is has to have created Mrs. Simmons out of Brady's memory. That means that it knows everything that Brady knows. That it has use of Brady's knowledge, of his memories, his emotions. This is just getting too weird. Hey, I'm getting real tired of this. Now, let me out of here so we can talk this over. Somebody better talk to us, get more than a little upset. Someone stop that. Stop it! Let's put him to sleep, Annie. Open up cylinder number six. Cylinder six open. reaction to it. Now what? Be careful, Vaughn. Pulse is normal. Taking into account the sedative. He's alive. It's alive. He's out cold, though. Well, we have no idea how long he'll stay that way, so please hurry. Right. I'll give him the additional sedative, and then we can restore the atmosphere in here, hook him up to our monitor. I'm sorry, Dr. Heil. I don't want another sedative. Thank you. Vaughn! That's not what I think it is, is it? It can't be. It's a nuclear device. Some sort of atomic bomb. It's got a timer on it. According to the timer, it's set to detonate in a little under two and a half minutes. Looks like you got tired of playing games. I think you better let it out, don't you, huh? Vaughn was in weapons development for over 10 years. Vaughn, he could make a bomb like this from scratch. Yeah, but where would this, this thing get the material for it? For God's sake, we don't know how old this thing is. How many worlds has it been to? How many things has it absorbed? It could easily have absorbed enough material to make a bomb like this. Under two minutes and counting. I'm going to go in. No. Somebody has to.
Brady? Vaughn? Whatever you are, you're free. You can walk right out that door. We won't try to keep you in here anymore, I promise. We never meant you any harm. We only wanted to understand and to control a little, I guess. But that's our nature. Good or bad, that's what we are. You'll survive, won't you? We'll all be killed, but you'll survive. Vaughn? Yes, Kurt? No. No, you're not Vaughn. Please. Let Vaughn and Brady go. Please. We're not prisoners, Dr. Lockridge. It's not like we're being held. If anything, there's this Thirst. Thirst? Well, what? Thirst. Come with us. Find out for yourself. We're offering you the universe. A chance to see it all. No, no, no. No, I... I can't. But wait, 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 wait. Tell me. Why did you come here? Why? Just curious. Imagine yourself a visitor to many worlds, drifting on the solar wind, a thousand voices singing in your memory. Now imagine you're this man, who can only guess at the wonders he might have known, wonders that exist for him now, only as a riddle from the Twilight Zone. 